Hivers. Welcome to Honeybee Stamping Hive, where creative buzz is always in the air. I am Tashama Lundy, your independent Stamp It Up demonstrator in Florida, serving customers all over the United States. And today, we're going to be working with the best remedy kit. This is part of the kits collections. These are the kits that can only be found online at stampitup.com slash kits. Okay, but before we get that open, of course, we got to go over the buzzworthy business of the day. Okay, we're going to start off with our paper pumpkin kit, the Sweet Sunflowers um, paper pumpkin kit for August. You have until August 10th to subscribe to get this particular paper pumpkin kit. It makes nine cards with three different designs, and your kit is going to come with two not one, but two classic stamping spots and the colors are Crush Curry and Soft Suede. And you're also going to get a free gift of eight gold foil honeycomb sheets. So that'd be really good. I am looking forward to this paper pumpkin kit, of course, because it has bees and honeycombs and things in it. <laughs> there will be a link in the description box below to subscribe to the paper pumpkin kit. Next up, we have the watercolor promotion well not promotion but just advertisement so this july celebrate watercolor during the world watercolor month so it's just bringing attention to the all the watercolor products we have available during watercolor month next up we have celebration just to remind you you can shop and earn free products you can host a part um workshop and earn free products or you can join stamp it up and during celebration, you will receive a free making plan collection um, planner in your kit, okay? And of course, your kit is $99 plus tax. Shipping is free, and you get to choose $125 worth of products of anything you want, and then you also get the planner. And the planner collection comes with the planner, three notebooks, a stamp set, and um, all the things that goes in the planner, okay? And lastly, we have our monthly host code. This is the host code that I would like for you to use whenever you're placing an order with me. Unless your order is $150 or more, do not use this host code because you will be eligible for Stampin' Rewards and Stampin' Rewards equals free products from Stamp It Up. And I don't want you to miss out on that. Okay, so that is all of the buzzworthy business we have for today. So let's go ahead and get started on our project. So let's bring back our kit. And it comes in a um, box similar to the paper pumpkin. So everything will look familiar as the way it's packaged. So we have a stamping spot here of Starry Sky, one of the new in colors. That's good. We have our stamp set here. It is super cute. I don't know if you can see this. Okay, here is our kit. So this is what the kit makes these three different cards. And so it looks like nine cards because there's three of each. Okay, let's get into this. Let me get my scissors here. And it comes with a clear block. So it's like everything you need is in here. So it's a clear block. Let's get this open. We have some dimensionals and some sequence here. Some flowers already with the adhesive on it. Our envelopes are only decorated on the flap. So we have three different um, choices here for the envelopes. Those are cute. Then we have our card bases. So we're gonna get one of those. Here's some elements, we'll get one of those. Here's another card base, so we'll get one of those. Oh my gosh, this is super cute. Look at these things. I wish all of these were in the stamp set, but we have this one little skunk. It's so cute though. Sorry, life stinks sometimes. Well, that stinks. Ice cream is the best remedy for this. Even though this stinks. <laughs> Then dot, 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 I'm here for you. Feel better soon. 
And a little birdie told me you were under the weather. And it has ice cream, an ice cream cone, a bucket of ice cream, some flowers. And what is this? A butterfly? I can't tell. We'll see in a minute, won't we? No, this is not a butterfly. I think it's a little chef's hat. No, no, Lord, it's this. <laughs> it's the little ice pack to put on your head if you're not feeling well. Goodness, why would it be a chef's hat? Who's cooking? Okay, there's another car basin. You guys know I love the stripes. This is really pretty. Oh, no. Hmm. I'm not sure I want to use this as a car base because when you fold it, the stripes are on the back too. I might have to do alternates already. Well, here's some more elements to the card. The card. So we have this. It's only two. That's kind of weird. Then we have this. Oh, this is embossed. This other one is also embossed, if you can see that. Yeah, this is cute. Then we have our labels. All the different labels. And some... um. What are these? Glue dots. <laughs> so let's see. The This is the kit components right here. And does it have the coordinating Stamp It Up colors? Our basic gray, crushed curry, granny apple green, polished pink, pool party, and starry sky. All right. So let's go ahead and I'm going to have to find the other pink because it should have three. And I only have two. Unless it was in between something. Oh no. Unless, there it is. They were just stuck together. Okay, good. I thought I was missing some components. I would have had to send it back. Stamp It Up is really good about fixing the problems, though, if it was missing something. Okay, so let's see. Let's Where we're going to start is with the pool party base and what we need for that is this this Ooh, be careful pulling them out pop out all the things and we're going to need this green piece from here and one of these labels. So let's see, what are we gonna be stamping? A little birdie told me. I'm gonna try to use just the components of this kit because you shouldn't have to get anything else with this kit. Now, you guys know I'm not gonna open this um, stamping spot because I have the, um, the full size ink pad. So I will be using this instead of the ink spot, but everything else I'm going to try to use what's coming in the kit, including this block. So we're going to stamp a little birdie told me. So what I'm going to do is do a practice stamp. Okay. That looks perfect. And then we're just going to stamp this right in the middle of this label. Okay. Maybe I should go ahead and get all the stamping done. That way I can put this ink away. Okay, so let's get out our Simply Chamois so we can switch the um, stamp. So next up we're gonna need, even though this stinks, I'm here for you, okay? I'm here for you. I think I'm gonna need this ice cream one. The ice cream. Even though this stinks, where's that at? Oh, it's a bigger one. <laughs> oh, goodness. I was looking for something small. Okay. So we have all of our stamps out that we're going to need. So let's go ahead and let me put this down on my desk. 
I'm here for you is going to be stamped on one of the um, smaller labels. So let's just do our practice stamp there. It looks pretty good. And we're going to stamp I'm here for you. Right there. Then we're going to clean this off. And go to the next stamp. And this one is even though. And we're going to stamp that on this heart. Just getting all the stamping it done first. That way we will be prepared. Do our practice stamp there. And we want this to be right here. Even though this stinks, we'll put that to the side. Now bring back our chamois and clean this stamp. Then we're gonna stamp our last image or sentiment. And this one is, ice cream is the best remedy for this. And we're gonna put this on one of these squares here. Let's do a practice stamp, make sure it comes out okay. Oh man, I got ink. There was ink on my finger. So one of my labels, well I can just turn that over because it's white, it's just plain white. So that'll be okay. So let's close this ink so we won't make any other inky mistakes. Okay, so now let's get to putting this together. So we're on a little birdie told me. Yeah, all of these have color back. So these will be awesome to um, make alternates with. So when the card base is the same color on the front and the back, you can always cut it in half and just mount it on a plain card base. That way you can get two card bases from that. So we're gonna put this here like this. So we're gonna need some glue dots or is this dimensionals? Nope, they did it with glue dots. So let's put some glue dots back here. Put a couple in the middle, halfway down. I'm just gonna take your pick tool so I can get these backings off. Sometimes my fingernails work better. I think that's gonna be the case this time. Okay, so we have the backings off of that and we're gonna just put this about what a um maybe a quarter of an inch border there. Okay, and then we're gonna take this, and this one is also with just glue dots. I'm gonna get this. The take your pick tool I see when I'm using it is good for putting the glue dots on, but my <laughs> my fingernails are better for removing the backing. So that is something I need to remember. Because I struggle sometimes with those glue dots. And then we're going to put this about right here. Just like that. Then we're going to put some dimensionals on the back of this. So let's open up our dimensionals. Look at those. Those are so pretty. We're gonna put three on the back of our little birdie. So one at the top, one there and there. Then we're gonna put two on our sentiment. One here and here. Okay, so we're gonna put our little birdie down. I'm gonna put him right close to the top. And a little hanging off of the um side there then we'll put our sentiment right up under it just like that 
okay? Super cute. And then we're gonna decorate it with a couple of these sequins here that already have the adhesive on it. So we'll put one there, maybe one right here. And let's see, let's do a couple of these small ones. Maybe one right there. Hmm. They have another small one down here. Did they just do four? No, they did three. Let's do one more small one. One more smaller one. We'll put them right there. Okay, that's the first card done. Isn't that cute? These things are super cute. This is a quick and easy kit. Only stamping, as you can see, is for the sentiments and everything else is just putting it together. This is so cute though. Okay, so let's see. Card number two is the green base, the granny apple green base. So let's get that. Now this base, I would not cut in half. Well, I guess you still can if you want that granny apple green. But this one, because it has the design only on the front, we need the heart. We're gonna put some blue dots on the back of this heart. We're just gonna need a couple, a few of them. We're gonna do that and get this layered onto our card base. And this is gonna go this way. And we're gonna put this right here, just like that. Okay, and then we're gonna get our little skunky, a little skunk. We're gonna go put some dimensionals on the back of him. And what is the sentiment? I'm here for you. I'm gonna get that. Oh, come off. And we're gonna put, I'm here for you. So we're gonna put a dimensional right here. And it's gonna just fit. Then we're gonna put a glue dot on the other end. Okay. So let's get this off. Put our little skunky right there. Then we're gonna take the backings off of this. And because this is going on top of what already has dimensionals, that's why we just put a glue dot on that side. And we're just gonna set it down just like that. And we're gonna add some flowers, three of the flowers here. And then we're gonna add some of the sequins as well. Get one big one and two of the little ones. Let's see. Where else should I put this one? <laughs> Where should you go? Let's put it right here. There we go. Second card is done. These are so cute and easy. Plus, when you do all the stamping ahead of time, you're just putting the cards together. It makes it go faster. Okay, so... I'm going to put this card together, but later I might take it apart to make an alternate. Because <laughs> I love these stripes. I don't want to waste them by being on the back of the card base. Okay. So, of course, for this one, we're going to need the pink. Our last little layer from here, which is the Crush Curry Polka Dots. Oh, this is so cute. I like polka dots as well. And we're going to get this little mouse trying to be careful not to tear his tail okay then we're going to need our sentiment from here and so 
these two will be getting dimensionals. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna need dimensionals. Oop, it's sticking to me. Let me see, at the top and the bottom of this, I'm gonna need some, one in each of the ear of the mouse, and then two on the body, okay? So our glue dots are gonna go on the back of all the rest of our um, elements. So let's go ahead and get that done so we can get everything stuck down where it goes. Really quickly, and we'll put some on here. I love that the um, instructions or have the pictures. It shows you exactly where to put everything including the adhesive, so that's good. So you don't have to worry about where you're supposed to stick stuff. It's all right on the instruction sheet for you. This is a cute, cute kit. I think this is one of the first kits that I purchased because some of the kits were old paper pumpkins and I already had them. So I think this is the first kit that I purchased because it's super cute. As soon as I seen it, I knew I was going to get it. And it came with my very first order from the, um, the January, no, the July to December mini catalog because I didn't do a pre-order. So I just got my order in and this was in it. So we're going to put this not in the middle, but a little below middle towards the bottom here. Oh, let's get that centered though. Let's try to get that centered. It's a little wider than our pink, polished pink label. Oh, so we'll put it right there. Then we'll put our little mousy down. This is a cute kit. We're gonna put him about right there. Yeah, let's do it about right there. Then our sentiment will go right next to him or her. About like that. Yep. About like that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Not yet. I want that to go under. Under his whiskers. Okay. Now, let's put some sequence on. So we're going to do... One big one there, two little ones up here, and I just got some on my finger. So let's put these down here, <laughs> since they just came off on my finger. So that's the third, tar third card done. Let's move all of this stuff out of the way and bring back the cards so you can see them. This is a very cute and quick and easy kit to put together. Isn't that cute? And then you have all of these extra images in your stamp set that you can make alternates with. Super cute. You get some coloring in with that. But this is the best remedy um, kit. That is all I have for you today. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I want to thank you for buzzing by the hive today. Until next time, buzz you later. Bye.